things are pretty relaxed here on the farm right now. But if you visit on shearing day, typically in early spring, fleece is flying. It's all part of the process of turning wool into fiber. My earliest memories, to be honest with you, of how I wanted to live in my life was on a farm. I don't know where it came from. I did not grow up on a farm. I just had a love for animals and working with animals. And there was something about sheep in particular. I got my first hand on raw wool, and I was so intrigued. I was smitten, and I just wanted to know more about it. But at the time, Lee Langstaff lived and worked in Washington, D.C., so the closest she could get to wool was spinning and knitting. I spun my own yarn, and I knitted sweaters out of them, and it was fantastic. In 1990, Lee's passion for wool came full circle when she moved to the foothills of Sugarloaf Mountain. I worked in D.C. for 10 years, I lived in D.C. for 10 years, and then my brother moved from Houston to this area and he bought this beautiful farm. Shepherd's Hay Farm sits on 225 acres. Here, Lee raises a flock of 100 sheep for breeding and producing high-quality hand-spinning fleeces. I wanted to create Wool that is a fantastic experience for people who hand process their wool, so hand spinners in particular. And as president of Maryland's Sheep Breeders Association, Lee knows what it takes to make quality wool. All her fleeces are natural and free of dye. People come out here all the time and say, oh, I thought sheep were white. But in fact, sheep started out not being white. Humans made them white and bred and selected specifically for white. So now we're in the position of breeding specifically to bring back some of the beautiful natural colors. Today, sheep are lining up for their annual haircut. Everything is about trying to ensure that the wool comes off of the shearing floor intact and as clean as possible. Lee brings in professional shearer Emily Shamlin. She shears about 15,000 sheep a year and knows how to get the job done so the wool comes off the sheep in one piece. It's five or six main positions, but you're always moving your feet. There's so many things coming together. You have the clippers you have to keep track of. You have the sheep you have to get track of. Your feet are always moving. You're feeling the animal, and it's this dance that all has to come together to make it work. Next, the wool makes its way to the skirting table. Here, Lee takes out anything from the field that could contaminate the fleece. We'll go around the edges taking out any bits of hay and straw and anything that's too short to be made into yarn, so we throw those away. Once it's skirted, rolled, and packed, it's time to spin it into yarn. Lee takes her wool to the Millet Meadowlands on Angora Hill Farm in Baltimore County. I'm looking for strong, healthy fiber. I'm looking for a clean fleece. I am looking for a fleece that's been skirted. Ruth Lamb owns the mill. When Lee's wool arrives, the first thing she does is clean it. We soak for about three hours to remove the lanolin and dirt in water that's 160 degrees. Then the wool goes through a wash cycle. After it's dried for a few hours, the fibers are ready to be aligned on the carter. When the roving comes off of the carter, the fibers are haphazard. They're not aligned, but it's a nice, even coil. Next, Ruth runs the fiber through this, called a pin drafter, to make sure the yarn is uniform. We're bringing it over here to divide it into four piles so that we have the roving as consistent as possible. And as it's going through, it's combing and it's aligning the fibers. Now it's time to spin some yarn. To prevent it from unraveling, the yarn is spun twice, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Now I've brought it over here to put onto the skein winder. To remove the yarn off the bobbin and wind it into a coil. And finally, Lee's high quality hand spinning fleeces from Shepherd's Hay Farm are ready for knitting. And it's all Maryland. Going local and sustainable isn't just about food. There are other products, and wool is one of the best. 
If you want to see Lee's wool for yourself, she sells it at the annual Sheep and Wool Festival held at the Howard County Fairgrounds each May.